guess what guys I have pipes now I actually do not care about these pipes because they are high and they're not aerodynamic they weigh around 6,000 pounds so it's, they don't weigh uh, much but they are high $1,500 is, is good rate to go to uh, Phoenix I just measured my height it came out around 13 feet and 5 inches so <laughs> I am just an inch away from a semi uh, semi truck height so let's get this uh, load all secured and let's hit the road and talk about it straps are over the pipes let's go to the other side and put the ratchets on guys you know what it's really hard to put that strap over you know especially when it's windy today it's it's a bit windy so that's what I why I am struggling a little bit I had to do one of them twice but uh, from here on it should be fairly easy I put the three straps on each and I'm just gonna go ahead and put the ratchet right now guys Everything is done but now I have to put one of these orange flags in the back because I am overhanging about two feet so you need to make sure you warn the people behind you with something saying that you are overhanging now if you are gonna ask say hey Yusuf where are you gonna put put the flag they don't have any in place yes they don't but if you think about it a little hard I can go around that wood and just let it let it hang over here and then when you drive it's gonna do a motion like this like that okay flag is in in place i had to do a little bit of thinking because my arm was not long enough so i used this four by four to reach there and come around so this is ready to go now I just have to uh, take care of my dunnage because I have to move them around. All right guys, just stopped in by the pilot truck stop on uh, 15 South, Highway 15 South. I don't know what exit it is. This is pretty much the second pilot down from uh, Salt Lake City. But look at this place, how beautiful it is, you know? It's so amazing and it's so empty. Like they got a dirt parking lot, which I don't mind. 
but it's it's just completely empty like you don't have any city over here or anything like the houses so it's so quiet and i i noticed that they have a, a dairy queen inside last time i checked my arteries were were not clogged so i'm gonna go get me some dairy queen and start clogging up my arteries but anyways i was gonna show you guys a couple of things first look look at the behind my truck how much stuff i have i promise guys i am not a hoarder but uh all of these i need them right like, i need i need the bungees to skewer my tarp i need the blankets to make sure my, my tarps are not are not ripped i need all, all that stuff so i can't just get rid of them you know but uh, i think if i get pulled over like that the, the dot officer may give me a ticket because uh, i am pretty sure like you, you cannot have so much stuff around your uh, gooseneck hitch but uh yeah one thing that i need to get rid of is are these dunnages you know i have only used it once the past three months i have only used it once and I paid $100 to get 10 of them or 8 of them and I found these two old ones in uh, one of those y yards and I asked the, uh, the yard guy, I'm like, hey, can I take these two? <laughs> so I'll make it 10 even? <laughs> he said, yeah, you can take it. But look, I have only used these once in three months. Do you think should I, I should get rid of them, you know? Because like all of pretty much every single of the load, they would have dunnage at the... Uh, at their shipping yard but some of them the reason i bought this actually because i was at in uh, wyoming and there were nothing available at that uh, area and the only thing that was available it, uh, was a load of eight reels and they required eight pieces of dunnage so that's why i went to home depot and bought eight of them and i think i'm gonna get rid of them for sure for sure because I'm, I'm getting super tired of it because i don't have enough space over there now i put them here Guess what? I am overhanging on that side. So because of this, I am overhanging, which is not 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 too bad. But look how I skewered this. This is my first time trying it like that. I seen a lot of flatbed bidders. They were doing it like that. So I figured, you know, it would be skewered. But then I doubted it. So I tried it this time because I did not have any other choice. It turns out that this is actually very skewer. But one more thing that I was gonna tell talk to you guys about is are these these uh, straps especially when you're hauling a uh, drain pipe like this the straps get loose very very quick i don't know why uh, so this one look this is loose right I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's fairly loose look how loose this one is i mean not too loose but loose enough to create some problems this one is a bit loose as well look but i i just tightened no this one is super loose i think i just tightened this one so look this is good but yeah uh it always makes me nervous when i haul these uh drainage pipes because they're just too high and it, it's windy and stuff like that so i'm not a big fan of them but guess what it's better to sit around the utah over the weekend you know <laughs> uh so yeah let me go get the get me something to eat and then we'll talk some more yeah by the way one more thing i was gonna mention so i picked this lo load up from uh, salt lake city utah and i'm taking it to phoenix now there are two routes route number one is by the way let me show you the view as i'm talking so there are two routes okay route number one is to go i like highway 15 south and then you go on 89 state route 89 south and then you go down and then you get to phoenix right so route number two is take i-15 all the way down to las vegas spend the weekend there and then drive to phoenix and be there at six o'clock in the morning on monday so which one should i do i'm really thinking about going to vegas because like it, it will add like 70 miles to my to my overall uh miles because like if you go straight the route that I'm, i am on now it'll be like 660 miles but if i go through las vegas and have a good weekend i will have to drive 735 miles i'm debating <laughs> debating whether i should add uh 75 miles to my uh to my 
autometer or not. But you yeah. know, I'm trying to save money, not spend it. So if I do, if I go to go to Las Vegas, and obviously I don't gamble. I don't. I'm not gonna waste my my money gambling because I'm not even interested. Like I don't even know how to play poker or or blackjack and stuff like that. But I will be spending money on hotels and food, which means that my savings account will go down and i don't want that to go down so i'll keep you guys hanging we'll see after i eat the dairy queen to see if i could if i actually want to go to uh, las vegas or not but that would be interesting that would definitely be interesting one more thing i was gonna uh, talk to you guys about uh is that uh whenever you talk like even if you talk just a little bit over here you can hear a lot when I, when they were loading me up I was here and the guy was just talking over there like he was whispering to the other guy over there I heard him very clearly from from here very clearly so that's something that I found out see you learn something new every day so <laughs> this was something that I learned today well good morning everyone I am in Panguitch Utah which means I decided not to go to Vegas because it you know 70 75 miles uh, extra is not great to add on my arameter so i decided not to go <laughs> not to go there you know eventually i will go there you know whenever i get i get a load uh, to vegas then i'll just spend the night over there or something like that but uh, for today i decided not to but anyways i found this place yesterday i am currently in like on uh, state route 89 89 south so there is no pilots for like uh, 250 miles or something like that there is no pilot so and i wanted to sleep for the night and i did not find anywhere nowhere at all and the only place i found is this place right here they had it on google maps as a travel plaza but it seems like it's a it's an abandoned motel and then probably the pumps are even not, not even working but i parked my truck over here and the next thing you know these two semi trucks came and copied what i did you know they're copycats no i'm just kidding <laughs> anyway yeah i'm about to do my pre-trip real quick everything else looks fine uh let's do our pre-trip and let's get on the road okay so i was running out of uh, diesel the only place that i found was this convenience store so i had to squeeze myself in right here and now the the challenge is to get out of here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go go that way back into here and then come back and go go to uh, phoenix well my problem was that when i left for highway 15 there's a, a pilot uh, truck stop right at that at that exit so i should have i should have filled up at that exit but guess what i <laughs> i did not pay attention i thought there was gonna be uh, tr truck stops on the on the road so uh, and I had to squeeze myself in here, but next time I'm gonna fill up at that uh, pilot truck stop so that at least I can get to uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. And then there's a truck stop right there. So I don't have to squeeze myself into small areas like this. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, just took my 30 minute break over here. I actually do not mind the route that does not have truck stops in it. I mean, there was a pilot. But guess what? The pilot does not have diesel islands. It's it's weird, you know. This is my second time coming across a pilot that does not have a diesel islands. Uh, they only have the, the the gas station for regular sedans, but they don't have any anything for trucks. So I was I was a bit surprised when I <laughs> when I saw that. But I actually do not mind it, you know. Uh, this is a very beautiful area to spend 30 minutes in, you know. Look at this. Look at this. My truck is all the way over there, so we're gonna have to walk and do our little exercise. But yeah, next time if I come through here, I will definitely fill up at the uh, pilot gas station right before I get off uh, Highway 15 and then come all the way here. I'm actually thinking of getting a fuel tank. If I get a 100 gallon fuel tank, okay, so I would have 100 gallons auxiliary fuel tank plus 40 that I already have, so that's 140 gallons. If it gives me eight miles to the gallon. I can go 960 miles with one fill up. But then like if I do get the uh, auxiliary fuel tank and I fill it up, that's an extra almost a thousand pounds extra 
that's why I'm actually thinking about it. Not not because of how much it costs, because how much it weighs. Because my uh, drive axles will be overloaded if I put the fuel tank in it. And another issue that I have, what am I going to do with <laughs> all that storage, uh, all that equipment that I have in the back of the truck? So I'm actually going to think about it hard and see if, if it's worth it. All right, let's make it to the truck. Well, good morning, everyone. It is currently 4.47 in the morning or 4.49. I am ready to hit the road, but not really because my trailer tire is low on pressure, one of them. So I need to fill that up first and then, and then hit the road. Not yet. Uh, the reason that it is uh, low pressure i think i plugged it maybe it's leaking from that plug i did not hear any uh air leaking but uh, it seems like the pressure is going low so not sure why let's let's go ahead and fill it up and hopefully uh we will figure out why it's it's leaking if, if anything we'll go ahead and uh, take it to a repair shop and repair it We are done. We are ready to hit the road. All of my tire pressure is at 65 PSI. I'm not sure if I should uh, keep it at 80 or something because the maximum that you could put in it is uh, 80 PSI. But uh, someone was saying that uh, don't go that high. Uh, 65 is fine because when uh, you get to a hot, hotter areas, your pressure will go up and you don't want that uh, blowout to happen. So 65 it is for now. I'm going to go inside and wash my hands and I get the receipt and get out all right guys just made it to the delivery location i went ahead and unstrapped and put everything back together I'm just waiting for the guy to come around like i said i am not a big fan of these pipes because uh, i think they are dangerous when it's uh, when it's windy and stuff like that so i don't really like hauling pipes but uh, when you don't have anything else what could you do you can't just sit around right but anyway this will do it for this video i'll see you guys in the next one Hey guys, my name is Yusuf and thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all of you guys watching my YouTube videos and commenting and liking and subscribing. Please stay tuned for upcoming videos. I'll really appreciate it. Woo!